Oh, come to mama. Can we just... So, hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you've read the title of this video, you're probably thinking, what the hell is she doing? This is not white food. No, it is not. And that is because I have not started the video yet. I should explain myself. There's obviously a whole host of videos on YouTube, like eating a certain colour for a day. And I guess this is kind of like one of those videos, but it's also not because I have no choice but to eat white food for the next 48 hours. I am getting my teeth whitened at one o'clock today. So I am having this as my final meal and I'm about to make my coffee, my last coffee for 48 hours. And I think I might cry. I have got this gigantic stack of protein pancakes. And oh my God, I'm so ready for this. I've actually got to leave in 10 minutes, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't waffle, but. So. As part of the treatment, you have to avoid any foods and any drinks that would, they say, stain a white t-shirt for 48 hours. So for the next 48 hours, my diet is gonna be questionable. But I thought, why not make some entertainment out of it and take you along with me. Can someone please insert James Blunt singing, goodbye my lover. <laughs> And well, I'm gonna pack these just in case I do get hungry. But after those pancakes, I'm pretty full, so we'll see. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> How do I look? Do they look whiter? So that was the treatment done and if you don't know Zoom is basically like an hour in the chair, it's so easy and this is not sponsored but that place was absolutely amazing, the lady who did it was lovely, it's called the White Smile Clinic and I got a group on voucher and it was only £79 for the whole treatment and an at home kit so if you're in London go there and very very safe, literally it wasn't near me the whole time so Perfect. Now, I'm actually late because Amy has just texted me saying she's in London and wants to go for a coffee. Obviously, I can't have a coffee and the lady's just told me that I can't eat anything or drink anything but water for the next three hours. So, that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna make Amy buy me some tap water. Yum. We love fancy tap water. <laughs> So I am back home now and it is still the same day but I've had to change because let me tell you I was absolutely drenched in sweat by the time I got home. I think it's the hottest day of the year today, it's something ridiculous like 36 degrees and I'm not coping well. I'm hoping that the camera is kind of dulling out my sula and it has been two hours and 40 minutes since I got my teeth whitened so I've got 20 minutes until I can have a snack and I literally wasn't even hungry until she told me that I couldn't eat for three hours and then all of a sudden my stomach was like can, can, can we have some food? So love that, love that for me. Going out for some drinks tonight, some white drinks, don't worry. She was like do not drink wine, do not drink red wine or white wine, so we're avoiding that. Oh my god, it's boiling. Okay, I'm gonna go and make a snack now, and then I'll show, I have no idea what I'm gonna make, but we'll just have to wait and see. This is not my snack, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have some whilst I figure out what I'm actually gonna snack on. We're going for some salt and vinegar snacker jacks, because I never got around to eating those earlier, and then some cottage cheese. Delicious. Go, Jamie Oliver, move out the way. There's a new chef in town. So my first snack on my white food diet is going to be three salt and vinegar rice cakes, two with cottage cheese, and one with a pack of Philadelphia. Oh, nice. 
If you haven't tried cottage cheese on salt and vinegar rice cakes before, do it because it is actually a really good combo. And I can now vouch, I've never done this before, but cream cheese on the rice cakes, also a good combo. I'm starting to worry about dinner because I haven't planned anything. And the only white vegetable that I can think of is cauliflower and I don't have any. So obviously I'm going out for drinks at half seven. So I need to get my act together. I don't know what I'm gonna end up having. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I decided that I didn't want to go out and buy anything just because I'm so tired. So I promised to plan tomorrow better, but this is what I could find. Two of these pitta flatbread things, smoked tofu inside, some hummus, and maybe I'm gonna fry up some of these mushrooms, but can't burn them because then they won't be white anymore. I love to hear you when you complain about your best friend, how she's so late. As you're talking, I'll start thinking All the details start to sink in I also put the flatbreads in the oven for a little bit just so they heated up and went a little bit crispy You know what? This doesn't look terrible It's on the floor to taste test this for you You know what? It's really not bad. Hummus and smoked tofu. And I added garlic salt as well. I'm, honestly, I would have this again. <laughs> Obviously that's gonna happen on video. <laughs> Good morning legends and welcome to the first full 24 hour day of eating white food. It's breakfast time, I can't wait. I just can't wait, I just love, I love it. I just want a coffee for fuck's sake. Oh! Let's do it. Different of gym, switch out of focus, it's not for the key. Used to be rapping in classes with pillows and blankets, but they boy slept on my shit. I done get everything to the bank. So this is my delicious breakfast. I've got 50 grams of oats with cinnamon danish impact whey, which is my favorite flavor, a banana, and then a dollop of this, which I feel like is gonna save me today but I don't have that much left. Even though it looks terrible, I know it's gonna taste good, so that's okay. Yum. I am not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried. It's quite browny. I thought the cinnamon Danish way would be a little bit more white, but she's not a looker, but she's a taster. Not terrible, yay. If you haven't tried the My Protein white chocolate protein spread, it literally tastes like melted milky bar. That's the only way I can describe it and it is so good. So my plan after breakfast will be to go to the supermarket and get a few things to eat because I don't think I could make it through the whole day with just what we have in the cupboards and the fridge. I'm gonna go and see what I can find and hopefully I won't have a terrible day of food. Oh, it's just the coffee. You know what, anything else, I'm not really craving that much, but coffee, I need a coffee, and I'm slightly hungover as well. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it out there, not having courgette in my oats. I mean, it hasn't hit me yet, but I still feel so hungry. I'm 100% sure that putting courgette in my oats fills me up so much more. This bowl was so small, it lasted me like five minutes. Bring back the courgette in two days. Yep, I've decided to have what I had for dinner yesterday for lunch because it was actually really good.
So this is what we're working with for lunch. I'm quite hungry, so I've gone for two of the pita breads, half a block of smoked tofu, mushrooms, garlic salt, and I went for cream cheese instead of hummus today, just to, you know, test my taste buds, shake it up a bit. Probably not a shock to anyone, but hummus is better. Seeing it as it is a billion degrees outside, I'm gonna have one of these. Oppo sent me these a couple of days ago and what a perfect excuse to crack the box open. I kind of had a nap after lunch as well, so forgive my shiny, tired eyes. Let's do this. Ooh, okay. This is a taste test. I've never had one of these before. Very, very good. God, I don't know if you can see, but that is the white chocolate that has just fallen on the floor when I took a bite. Okay, my rating has gone down from 9 out of 10 to like 6 out of 10 because I hate it when ice creams do that. A few moments later. I was going to go to the gym today, but I'm kind of enjoying sitting here watching MasterChef. I'm going to have another snack. I found these today in Lidl. They're yogurt coated rice cakes. Oh, they're good. I give those a solid eight and a half out of ten. Welcome to the video. So today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Dinner tonight is gonna be one of them. So I'm not gonna really show you how I make it. It's probably quite self-explanatory. I'm gonna have a pack of egg fried rice and then I think I'm gonna have to pick out the peas in case it's too green. Then I'm gonna add extra egg whites, white cabbage and cauliflower and kind of make a rice bowl and then i'll probably dress it with mayonnaise i guess oh god is this not the worst thing you've ever seen in your entire life oh my god so dinner tonight is served you know what it looked terrible in the pan but i feel like i don't know now it's in the bowl it's not as bad I think I only have myself to blame and I can't, I didn't choose, you know, the best combo, but, but there we go. So we've got egg fried rice, white cabbage, cauliflower and extra egg whites and I'm going to have it with mayonnaise. Mum, what did you just say my food looked like? Hospital food. <laughs> She's not wrong. Good evening. So we have moved upstairs for dessert because the kitchen is now occupied. So I picked up this tub of plain soy yogurt from Lidl earlier. So I'm gonna have the entire tub and then I'm gonna sweeten it with my favorite, my protein vanilla flav drops, which I'm telling you is a good combo. And then I brought up a bowl of Rice Krispies to kind of add for a little bit of crunch. So that is going to be my dessert. This is the gourmet dessert. This is as close as I could get to a yog bowl. Because if you guys know me, you know that I have a yog bowl every single night. And I miss it so much. Mix her up. Well, the spoon is going to is gonna drown. I could have got a bowl, but... Nah, just adding these kind of as I go. There we have it. This is dessert for this evening. Such a shout. But if anyone ever tells you that one of these pots is not single serve, tell them to get lost. I have them on though and I can't Velcro. What I do is just wear it with a shirt. Good morning. So it is day three, yeah. Yeah, day three and the last morning of eating white food and I'm so excited. So I'm about to have breakfast now. I've just gotten ready for the day. I've got an optician's appointment this morning so I'm gonna have this before I go and then by the time I get back, I might even be able to have a coffee. It's gonna have to be an iced coffee because it's bloody hot again today and I've kind of missed the morning cool window to have a coffee. But still, breakfast this morning, I feel like I'm gonna have oats again, but just because I might shake up the topping, so we'll have to wait and see. It's been
been a journey, but there she is, the final meal of eating white food for 48 hours. I've got oats the same way I made them yesterday, but I used cookies and cream flavor whey, which is one of my favorites as well. And it came out a little bit more white, which is good. And then I used up the last like three of the yogurt rice cakes from yesterday. And then I also just put some sugar-free butterscotch syrup from my protein on there as well, because it's white enough. This honestly looks so good. I feel like the rice cake is gonna be all melty. It's not as good as I thought. The top of the rice cake, like the yogurt part, tastes so good because it's all melted. But then the bottom tastes a little bit stale. It's just kind of soggy, you know. But all in all, not a bad last meal. Mission complete. Hopefully my teeth are still white. I've eaten white food for the last 48 hours. I've listened to the rules. And I hope you've enjoyed watching more than I've enjoyed eating some of this food. I feel like I will never eat cauliflower ever again in my life. And that's totally fine. We live and we learn. But it hasn't actually been that bad. I've obviously missed a uh, coffee and I cannot wait to have one. I might insert a clip of me having a coffee at the end of this. Future Emma popping on to talk about the fact that I never mentioned the headache that I've had over the last two days because of the fact that I haven't had coffee. I thought I was dehydrated because of the weather. I thought you know, I was coming down with something, I was taking tablets, nothing was helping. And then I realized I'm going through caffeine withdrawal. But by my calculations, it has been 48 hours and I'm about to go and make a coffee. She a big day, she a big day to the manicures and coffee. But don't say that, cause she ain't that. No, she is more than she seems. She a big day, she a big day to the manicures and coffee. Oh my god. This is emotional. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now I'm going. Bye. So if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, comment down below if you enjoyed it and which videos you'd like me to film next and I will get on those. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.